there. Welcome to my home studio, next to the tortoise in the corner of the living room. Here I am, beavering away every day in hope that someday people will start buying pictures again. You never know your luck. So here's my equipment on this tray. I've got baby wipes, essential. Um, bits of paper for cutting up to do stencils. And these are all my chalk pencils which never look all that neat, they're all in horrible bits and pieces and, and then I've got rubbers and I've got a tin full of paint brushes and pencils, pot of water, coffee cup um, and then my little palette. So I, what I do is most of the time I'm mixing the chalk pastels with some water and applying them or applying it just with normal fingers, chalk pasteling. And the picture I'm doing today is going to be of some lovely ladies having their tea, having an apple pie in an orchard full of blossom. So this is about a day's work so far, so we'll see how we get on today. I'm going to be 60 in a few months, and I really thought at this stage of my career, I'd have an assistant to do these sort of things for me, but oh no. So I'm now going to put the blossom on the apple trees. the apple blossom done on those trees and all I'm thinking about is cherry blossom but never mind it'll be okay I'm not here to make friends I'll do this one next afternoon I've had tea and apple juice and I have done um, the grass some more pigs and the grass all around the lovely ladies and it is now lovely ladies having apple pie and a cherry blossom I think it looks a bit more like cherry blossom okay keep going Morning Sheldon, now there's breakfast, so it's another day, a new day has dawned and I'm still in the lockdown studio and of course when you're in lockdown hell you can have your breakfast at your studio table which is great. So uh, there's the picture from another lovely lady yesterday, that one. So I've got two more ladies to do, maybe a baby, and then what was going to be an apple pie. But having done this blossom, which is sort of uh, could be cherry blossom or anything, I did suddenly think cherry pie, and of course cherry pie would be bright red, and then the ladies could have um, sort of red stains around their mouths and on their fingers, which would be sort of blood red, a bit sinister maybe. 
Um, so I'm going to get on. This is another day. It is about nine o'clock. I'll start work. So, we have now completed all the ladies that are sitting around the table, and the baby. The baby there. So now, it's time to do the food I'm looking forward to. And I think I'll go for a big cherry pie, teapot, milk, teacups. Okay, let's go. Right, has everyone got a slice of pie? Yes. Slice of pie, slice of pie, slice of pie for the newcomer. Slice of pie. Don't think the baby wants any pie. Everybody got a dollop of cream. Dollop, dollop. 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 Okay. So, we have teapot reference. Teacup reference. Does everybody have a nice teacup? We are nearly done, very, very nearly done. I'm just going to leave it overnight and then in the morning I'm going to have a fresh look at it and just see if there's anything I've missed. There's one or two things to do. There's the chair backs and uh, bits and pieces. But we're nearly there. So tomorrow morning, after a couple of hours, I'll get it finished off. It's another day. So Adam's having his breakfast again. We'll be going up the garden later to get some sun. So, home studio, and the picture is nearly done. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some chairs in and just sit in, uh, in under. And maybe a pattern on the tablecloth. Just generally tidy it up and put um, any details, any stumpy fingers, make them look a bit nicer and that kind of thing. And then we'll be done. So hopefully, a couple of hours, we're finished. And we're done. Finally. Give them all some nice little Lloyd Loom chairs to sit in. And a bit of blossom over here, where all this dappliness is. A uh, bit of stainage of cherry juice. That's it. I think it's done. So there we are. So to finish off, I'll show you all the pictures I've been doing during lockdown in the corner of the living room. This one's called The Woodsman. This one's called The Farmer's Wives. All the pictures I've done are not going to the Rye Gallery, unfortunotly. They're all going to an exhibition in the Cotswolds this time. But next year, Hopefully, if they want me back, I'll have a one-man show at the Rye Gallery. And next year, everything's going to be great. This one's the ancient garden. I took forever trying to do this. Sunlight coming through wood smoke. Very difficult, and I haven't got it right, really, but uh, hopefully it will do. All's well. A happy little Cotswold town where everything's fine and dandy. 
and there's no viruses to worry everybody. Forbidden fruit. I love a good orangery. I'm making the fruit. Turn on the lawn. A whole bunch of rabbits. My Easter picture. The Brascals, this one's called, because they're brassicas, naughty little brassica pixies. So I call them the Brascals. Don't ask me what's going on. And this one, now I named this one three weeks ago, and then a couple of nights ago, Grayson Perry called a picture on his program on the telly, The Age of Aquaria, which is what I called this picture three weeks ago. Never mind, I'll let him have it. Or maybe I'll just call this one Age of Aquaria anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off by showing you my ugly mug. And then why not finish off with the star of the show, Sheldon. Say goodbye, Sheldon. Don't be shy. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, look, there's Sheldon going off into the sunset. Very, very slowly.